And guys, I will tell you what, I have tried making some videos without my kid running around in the background screaming, just so I have a little bit of less audio editing work to do, or you just don't have to hear him scream in the videos, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm about ready to give up with that because it's not working. Him and these dogs are just what they do. Thanks, uh, thank you COVID-19 for allowing households to go crazy with noise and kids and animals and everything else. But nonetheless, we've got Luna here. We've got Rowan here, still in his pajamas, and it's like almost 12 o'clock, dude. We've got Graham here waiting to come out. I just had to put him back so he wasn't trying to go crazy on me. He just came in because it started raining outside. And today's video is kind of stemmed from a video I put out last week where I had the two dogs out in the living room playing and they were just kind of fighting with each other. But I thought I should do the opposite kind of video in this one where I discuss how well a Jack Russell can get along with other dogs like my yellow lab. So that's what this video is gonna be about. We are going to break down if the Jack Russell Terrier and the lab can live together, kind of some of the pros and cons about having a Jack Russell with other dogs and everything you need to know on the topic. So stick around, we will be right back. All right guys, we are back and real quick, like I always do before we dive into the video, please make sure if you're enjoying this content, you like it, you subscribe to it, hit that little notification bell so you are notified on every Tuesday, every Thursday, 8 a.m. Central, when our new videos are released. That way you get to keep watching them, we'll keep making them. And if you wanna leave a comment for us down below on what kind of videos you wanna see, we're happy to help with that too. But for now, let's go ahead and dive into Jack Russell's compatibility and living with other dogs, what you can expect, what you need to know. I know, I know, it sounds like they wanna kill each other, but they don't, they're friends, they love each other. And yes, Jack Russell Terriers can live with other dogs in the house. It is not a big deal at all. They play a lot. Sometimes they need a little bit of their own alone time and private space, but most of the time it's awesome when they're out in the backyard. They'll lay next to each other, they'll cuddle up. Same thing with this dog room that we have for them. Let me walk over here and show it to you guys real quick. I mean, I wouldn't really call it a dog room by any means. It's more like a dining room turned pet dog kingdom, but this dining room in here is where we have her kennel. So, they will hang out kind of on that chair over there. They'll lay together right over there. That's where their food bowl is. That's where they hang out when we're not home. Some of the times when we are home, just cause they can get kind of annoying when they're in a playful mood, but they never have any issues with each other. Yeah, you'll hear the, the play growling and the play little nipping, but it's going both ways. Both of them are doing it to each other. They're not injuring each other. They're not hurting each other. They just, they like to play. And that's how they kind of release some of their pent up energy, especially on days like today when it's pouring rain and they can't run around out in the backyard together. I mean, right now, I mean, they are, she's probably gonna make me look like an idiot here in a second, but that's what they do. I mean, that's not necessarily 100% what you have to expect whenever you do the same thing, you might have a Jack Russell that doesn't play in that manner at all, or maybe the other dog doesn't play in that manner. There are definitely dogs that it probably wouldn't be a good fit with. Off the top of my head, it's hard to say because I don't know the specific upbringing or behavior of every dog, but I could see dogs like maybe a German Shepherd not doing great with a Jack Russell Terrier just because they're a little bit Feistier, I guess. I don't even know the best word for it. Hard to explain, but there are breeds that are more compatible than others and Labs and Jack Russells definitely do fine together. Other Terriers would probably be okay as long as it's not two Jack Russells with that sibling rivalry going on. That can cause problems with aggression. And I've read a lot of posts where it can cause the owners to split them up or even have to give one of those up for adoption. So beware of that. So some other things I recommend for you guys, if you're gonna have your Jack Russell Terrier live with other dogs is, you have to start it young. I talk about this in several of my other videos. One of them is discussing a Jack Russell Terrier being around young children. 
and how important it is to socialize them at that young age, the puppy, that puppy age. You want to make sure that they're getting exposed to the environment they're going to be living in at the earliest age possible. It makes everything a ton easier moving forward if they get that exposure. So, you know, in my situation, I already had our seven year old yellow lab and he was here the day she came home. So she's never known a different life, but to be around him and to just deal with it and figure it out. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that if you can't do that or that's not your situation that you're gonna have an issue. I'm just saying that it'll be much easier for you if you can try and find a way to make that happen. If you can have them get used to each other starting very young and quickly right out of the gates the thing that i recommend too especially when your jack russell terrier is still very small is to make sure that you're still around whenever they're in their playful moods i mean i they still play fight they don't ever get aggressive with each other but i would recommend some kind of supervision when it's possible for those first few weeks or even those first few months once they've been around each other for a couple years like my two dogs have that's a different story i don't have any reservations about leaving these two alone together or not being here to supervise but in the beginning you want to make sure that they're not acting in a certain manner towards each other that might cause an injury or some kind of harm it it's really up to you to be honest with you how you go about doing that when she would be alone with him in the beginning we had her in a crate and him in the same room so they were around each other but she was crate trained for the potty train training reasons and just so that she wouldn't destroy anything at that young age so if you can supervise when it's a brand new relationship and when the two dogs are just meeting it'll be a much better situation for you overall all right guys that is about all i have on this topic of a jack russell being around other dogs being compatible with other dogs if you should do it if you shouldn't do it my overall opinion is yes it's perfectly fine whatever bad rap they've gotten in the past for not being the best dogs with other dogs i find completely false i think it lies in your hands on how you build those relationships between the dogs and your overall training with the dogs and the more you can put into it the better it's going to turn out again if you guys are finding these videos helpful and useful please be sure to subscribe down below give us a thumbs up let me and luna know that you're enjoying the content and we will see you on the next video take care mm -hmm.